Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a comparison between the classic Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses and the new Ray-Ban Clubmaster metal. But first off, we want to start to thank today's very generous sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses just like these, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop on the classic Clubmasters and talk about the lens size. So these sunglasses have 51 millimeters lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge and this is actually the larger lens size of the sunglasses they also do produce these in a standard lens size which has 49 millimeter lenses now as far as the ray-ban uh, clubmaster metal go these sunglasses only come in one size and the one size has 51 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge so the clubmaster metal again only comes in one size and the size that it comes in its standard size actually is the large size of the class so that's something definitely interesting to note now as far as the sales volume goes, the average people actually really do like the larger uh, 51 millimeter Clubmaster style. That's the size that by far sells the best. So that's probably why Ray-Ban decided to make the metal version only that lens size. And if they got really popular, they probably produced them in the smaller lens size as well. So the biggest difference here is of course the material. Uh, one is made out of a acetate uh, top and temples, and the other of course is made completely out of metal. Now if one being made out of metal, and one being made out of acetate and metal, you'd assume that the acetate pair would be much more lightweight than the metal, but that actually isn't really the case. It is a little bit lighter than the metal, but not by too much. The classic Clubmasters come in at 38 grams and the Clubmaster metal come in at 41 grams. So really not a huge weight increase uh, with the metal, which again is actually pretty surprising to me. Now, as far as build quality goes, both these are made out of very high quality material and they both are made in Italy. And they say that here in the inner right temple of the frames, they say Ray-Ban, made in Italy on both the classic and the metal and the build quality here is really good now unfortunately uh, some of the classic club masters are in fact made in China and they will just say made in China on the inner right temple where every pair of the Ray-Ban metal are actually made in Italy I've never seen one that is made in China as of yet now as far as the hinges go both have very premium and nice five barrel all metal hinges which feel very nice and premium and just very substantial and nice and as far as durability goes I definitely think I have to give that to the metal here because the bridge is one piece where here with the classic it's actually attached to the acetate so that is potentially a breaking point or a cracking point uh, with the acetate. We're here with the metal they are just extremely tough and strong. Probably the biggest difference aesthetically is actually when you look at these sunglasses from behind. Here we can see the uh, metal have this really pretty gold material on the inside where here with the classic you just have that acetate material which is pretty interesting. Now as far as on face comfort goes there really isn't a big difference difference between both these two sunglasses. They both have fully adjustable nose rests and then the other place where sunglasses make contact with your face actually are acetate here on the metal just like they are with the classic. So here we can see the little ear rest is again made out of an acetate material which is very comfortable so there isn't any metal that's rubbing up against your face or anything like that with the Ray-Ban Clamaster metal. So as far as you know a feel goes on face there really isn't a difference at all other than the fact that the Clamaster metal weighs just a little bit more than the the original Clubmaster, but you really can't feel that difference. Now, as far as lenses go, both these sunglasses have very premium and nice all glass crystal lenses, and they're of course going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well, which is extremely important for your eye health. And what's also really nice about all glass lenses is they have very good scratch resistance, so they're going to last much longer than a pair of sunglasses with polymer lenses. Now, as far as pricing goes, the classic are going to run you around $163 directly from Ray-Ban's website and in most stores, and then the new metal are actually going to run you around $174. So a little bit more expensive here with the metal than the original classic. But I'm actually selling both these sunglasses on my website for a big discount off the MSRP. So make sure to go ahead and check it out on our website. And if I'm sold out on my website, I also recommend checking these out on Amazon. Usually they're like $20 cheaper on there. So again, I'm going to leave the link description down below directly to my website and for Amazon where you guys can get the absolute best price on these sunglasses, 100% authentic. Overall, I really do like both these sunglasses. I think the build quality of these is really nice and you really can't beat that classic uh, Ray-Ban Clubmaster style. So again, let me go ahead and give you guys a 180 of the classic, which I'm wearing right now. 
on face. And now let's go ahead uh, and pop on the Ray-Ban uh, Clubmaster Metal uh, and give you guys a quick little 180 of these frames as well. And again, as far as looks go, you really can't tell a big uh, look difference between the two, especially uh, with this more uh, muted colorway here with the Clubmaster Metal. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.